Hello, fifth grade, we're on domain nine, chemical matter, lesson 12, aftermath. Our objectives are to explain how plot lines are resolved by tracking characters, desires, and resolution. We're going to form and use the perfect per verb tense, and we're going to use words with a range of affixes and roots as clues for word meaning. The key vocabulary for today, fluffy is a light texture filled with air. A trace is a slight mark. Reluctant is unwilling. Intention is aim or plan. Appreciate is to recognize the worth of. This is our independent reading for today. So character resolution. The resolution explains what happened after the climax of the story. In this case, Julian being caught and often ties up the loose ends. So let's look at the resolutions for all the characters. For Daria, her character wants is she misses her mother. Her behavior, she disappears into the night. She seems strangely excited later and she seems nervous at the campsite. So right here is objective, something that could be observed. These are feelings or what um, through Amy's perspective. Her resolution, she was out in the middle of the night for her behavior because she found a signal to call her mother, which is her want. So that sums up why the character was acting in the, that manner, why it might have been a suspicion. So that kind of sums up what happened with them. Felix, he wants to eat. His behavior, he pops something in his mouth and asks a question. He puts locks in his backpack. Any reference to Felix is eating. So his resolution, he just wants survival rations. So he's like hoarding food. The squirrels, they want to take the food. They steal Amy's lunch and they have footprints near the campsite. They are the reason Dr. D Dr. Forrest believes her bo bones are going missing. They, that was the original reason. The SUV, they are looking for lost cattle. We do not know this until the end. They slowly approached. They looked at it and turned around when they saw the campers because they knew that it was not the cattle that they need. The perfect verb tense, so past perfect, is an action that was completed in the past before something else happened. I had lunch before I went to the cinema. The future perfect is an action that would have been completed at some point in the future. I will have solved four cases by June. And then the present perfect is includes an action that has begun in the past and continues in the present. I have already run three miles. It is also an action done several times in the past and continued in the present. So I've played the piano since I was four. On the board and chart paper, these are the sentences we will see. The police had interviewed the suspect before cra they cracked the case. Yesterday, when I arrived home, I realized that someone had broken in. Amy was disappointed at the bookstore because she had read all the detective novels. So these are examples of the past, future, and present perfect. The police had interviewed the suspect before they cracked the case. First, they interviewed the suspect. Then, they cracked the case. Yesterday, when I arrived home, I realized that someone had broken in. First they broke in, then I arrived. I was disappointed at the bookstore because I had read all the detective no novels. So first I read the detective novels, then visited the bookstore. The affix is en, meant, and the roots mit and miss. A prefix is a syllable or syllables placed at the beginning of a root word to change the word's meaning. The prefix en means in, and the suffix meant means a state of being. The Latin root word mit means to send. Your assessment is to complete the sentences with the correct past perfect tense. And we will see everyone in our next lesson.